Welcome to the 30 day AI agent challenge using make.com. If you don't know me, my name is Dylan. I help entrepreneurs win the game of business by building AI agents and automated workflows inside of their business. The whole purpose of this challenge is to help entrepreneurs and aspiring automators separate the hype from the helpful. With this whole era of AI, it feels like there is just a million new AI solutions and tools being thrown at us, and it can be really overwhelming for anybody that wants to get up and started to leverage these tools inside of their business. So what I'm gonna be doing is recording these daily videos showing you a play-by-play -play of the different AI agents and automated solutions that I've built for other companies or for my own company and install them in the businesses. We show in-depth tutorials step-by-step -step of what you need to do to get up and running using make.com and some of these other tools like go high level and the other solutions that are really out there and by the end of this you're going to have what i call a cookbook or a recipe list of all of these different automated and ai agent solutions that you can take and install inside of your own company or someone else's company we're going to be covering the topics of things like social media marketing, other types of marketing, lead generation, lead nurturing, sales processes, fulfillment, onboarding, and all of that jazz. But first, I just want to touch on what is an AI agent? Simply put, AI agents are AI that can take actions online. ChatGPT is what's known as generative, which means it generates text or mid-journey generates images or Sora AI generates videos. These are things what's known as generative AI. And what we are shifting into in this whole new era is the era of these AI agents. And they're not as complicated as you think. You can use amazing solutions like make.com to be able to make that happen. And so I'm gonna be showing you the outline that I've put together for the challenge coming up. And I'm also gonna walk you through a little bit of make so you can see how it works. So with that being said, Let's get started, shall we? All right, so here is the Notion document that I put together for you so you can see the course outline, the logic behind it, and what we're gonna be covering. If you're not familiar with Make, this is Make.com. Make.com, if you think about it, is essentially the ability to send data across the internet by having one application speak to another application. And they have something on the order of, I think, 3,000 different applications that you can speak to, which allows you to virtually do almost anything. And what it comes down to is your ability to think through processes and flows and be able to put the right modules in place in order to make that happen. As you can see, this is a little bit of the layout of some of the modules that they have, fill out a form to notify the team, to create a record or send an email. We're gonna dive in depth and you're gonna see practical examples of solutions that I've built for myself or other companies so you can see exactly how this works. Diving back into the Notion document here, this is the 30 day AI agent challenge using make.com. The real purpose behind this is if you think about this, the, the value is not money, it's time. And if you can save people time, this is the highest leverage activity that you can do for your business or another person's business. The problem is that it's really overwhelming with all of the different solutions and tools out there that you just don't know where to get started. And when I got started learning this stuff, I was just digging through the weeds, trying to figure out, okay, give me some practical examples. What can I sink my teeth into? What is something that I can see someone do the activity and go, oh, I get it, and then bring that into my business? Back in the day, I used to run hackathons, high-tech solution hackathons for virtual reality and AI. I did it for my own community way back in the day called OCVR, where we did hackathons. And one of the most practical things we could do is we get in and we do real world building. You know, you'd see people build and create these things around you and you'd start to build up your own portfolio or what I call a cookbook of recipes that you can then use inside of your own business. And so my plan is to do the same type of thing. And so who this is for, this is really for entrepreneurs that wanna use the EA agents or wanna build automated workflows inside of their business but they don't know where to get started or aspiring people that wanna automate, they wanna create an automation agency and then they wanna create these services and give these services to entrepreneurs. So if that's either of you, this is gonna be for you. Again, we're gonna be covering topics like marketing and lead generation, sales processes, finances and productivity and probably a couple other random things that I find to be interesting or useful for myself. I wanna talk about getting started with this because a lot of times people think that, you know, I need AI in my business and that's not usually where it starts. It, usually where it starts is I'm moving through a process from going from I have no AI in my business to where you are now. It's usually what I call the four phases. And this is something that in terms of a strategic approach to approaching any business for getting up and going using these types of technologies. And here's the four steps of it. So one, 
you're gonna map out the processes. Often when I work with businesses, we really get into a, a mapping session of like, what's going on in their business from identifying their avatars to marketing to lead generation, lead nurturing, sales, and so forth and so on. So you wanna map out those processes because what you're really trying to figure out is what are the gaps inside of their businesses? We're gonna move from that to prioritization, okay? Because we can't do everything. We're gonna find what are the highest leverage activities that we can then install to be able to help them become a more efficient business. A business will grow to the constraint of whatever's stopping them. When businesses start out, they usually don't have enough leads in the front half, and then the back half, they usually don't have enough time, right? So figuring out where that business is and how can you open that up, right? Is it how do you create more marketing opportunities? How do you convert more sales in the processes? Or on the backside, how do you systematize the businesses to be able to save time? And that's where that next step is, systematize. We're gonna prioritize and figure out what the highest leverage activities are. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna systematize. The way that is is create SOPs around, say, the sales process, bring that into a system, like a project management system for tasks or a CRM system to manage the leads. And once you actually have a business not running off of like notepads and things like that, and you make a documented SOP, you can then systematize it. And once you systematize it, you can then start to automate those types of solutions. And so whenever I'm working with any business, I usually move through these four step processes as a forcing function for clarity and action. And with that being said, here is the outline, things that we're gonna be covering in this 30 day challenge. Now, I only have about 15 of the videos I wanna cover here, and I'm gonna leave the rest open up to really anything that you want me to create. And so leave comments down below and I'm gonna engage with you guys through YouTube and go back and forth on what is it you wanna see. And if it lines up with what I'm trying to deliver here in terms of creating AI agents or automated workflows, then I'll bring it in and show a step-by-step -step process of how to make those solutions. So first video here is an email assistant to draft and send emails to clients. We're gonna use AI to be able to take a look at the emails, see if it's a lead coming in, see if it makes sense, and then be able to create a drafted message or you know, once you get comfortable with that, be able to actually directly send that message so that you can convert those leads. Because really, if you wanna triple your sales in the business, you can respond to your leads within five minutes. Sometimes that's very difficult, if not impossible to do as an entrepreneur. So we use automated solutions to be able to do that. The second video here is about a news feed to be able to generate leads online. Sometimes there's clients or people that you wanna be aware of. And so when the data comes in, having an AI take a look at that and help draft up some initial outreach messages to make it really easy. Instead of you digging around online for information, it's gonna serve it up to you and then give you something that you can immediately reach out with for an outreach message. The third one here is a news generator for LinkedIn post. There's a terminology called fastvertising made popular by Ryan Reynolds about being able to quickly find hot, relevant information in the news streams online and then be able to cover that as quickly as possible. So this is an AI agent that I built out for a client that really makes that possible by sourcing the latest and greatest news feeds around relevant topics and then converts that into LinkedIn messages and posts so that it makes it easy to be able to share topical relevant information, which will help that client or your company generate authority, build trust, and ultimately leads on the back half of that. Fourth here, we're gonna be covering a financial reporting system. Really cool, useful thing that you could sell to accounting agencies or anything else, but it really simple way to be able to uh, get a fiscal report of your bank flow, cash statement, things like that, that you can integrate into your business or the people's businesses. Fifth here is how to build custom GPTs with the assistance API. GPTs are great, and it's really easy to get started with that. Uh, it's, I'd say, a low-level version of AI agents by creating your own agents inside of GPTs on OpenAI. You can do that by using the, the Actions tab inside of OpenAI. The only thing is, is that you can't really get that data out, not practically speaking. And so what this is, is showing you how to use the Assistance API on the backside of that to build your own GPTs that you can then plug in to make to be able to take a whole bunch of actions online, whether that's uh, responding to clients or making marketing content or whatever it might be. I'm gonna show you how to build those custom GPTs with the Assistance API. 
Sixth video here is lead magnets using advanced GPT stuff. And that's where I'm actually going to show you how you can take GPTs and build them as really powerful lead magnets. And I really think that GPTs are very underrated for being lead magnets because you can generate a lot of value with it and you can exchange that for an email. The manual method is, hey, give me your email, I'll give you the GPT, but this is a more advanced functionality where I actually show you how you can plug into make.com to harvest the data outside of the GPT and then send it through your own pipeline so that you can provide something valuable with the GPT. And then on the back half, be able to gather that data and then put them into a marketing funnel or whatever else you might be doing with that. Seventh here is we're gonna be building a lead scoring agent. So you'll be able to parse through and kind of rate and review what a lead is, what the value could be. And the low level leads, maybe not respond to them, but the high level leads, which kind of bring it up to the surface and bring it to your attention quickly. Eighth here is we're gonna be showing you how to build an AI generated podcast agent. I've ran a podcast for a number of years, got a couple hundred under my belt called Heroes of Reality. And what this is, is an AI generated podcaster to help you make it really easy to do a couple of clicks and turn that into a powerful podcast using your own voice or clone voice that you can see that makes it super simple. It, <laughs> something that I really wish that I had back in the day when I first made you know so many podcasts. Nine here is TikTok to LinkedIn post. TikTok, I really think is one of the quickest ways to find the most relevant topics. It's got a, an amazing algorithm to source the most liked, most viewed content. And so it's a great place to kind of figure out, okay, what's hot, what's trending, what's new? Well, we can make a system here. Well, it shows you effortlessly how to take a LinkedIn video or a TikTok video and then quickly rip out the data from that and then rewrite it for a post. Because a lot of times, especially with making content online, it's about sourcing viral content in one category, picking it up, remixing it up and then posting it inside of another social media platform. And this shows you how to do that with AI agents and automation. 10 here, automated quiz to reporting lead magnet. We're gonna show you here how you can make uh, a simple quiz online and then turn that quiz using AI into a powerful report that you can automatically give to the lead on your website to be able to deliver them value and then bring them into your own sales pipeline. 11 is Instagram DM to calendar booking. A lot of times on Instagram, if you've seen people say, hey, comment the word macros or you know blueprint down below. Well, those are automations that will automatically respond, usually gather emails with that and then give them the lead magnet. We're gonna take it a little step farther and show you how you can do that, but also how you can actually turn it into a calendar booked event using make.com. 12 is gonna show you how to automatically generate proposals for your clients. So really quickly while you're inside of a sales meeting or whatever it might be, as you're having a conversation with somebody, you can just get a couple of pieces of information and send them a beautiful proposal and you know offer right to them immediately so that you can close that sale quickly and you don't have to have that lead time extend out while you're making proposals in the background. 13 is auto-generated social media videos. There's a big thing about people wanna make faceless content online. And so what this is, is I'm gonna show you a, a much more complex workflow on how to make this faceless content. And you can use it to either build up your own brand for affiliate marketing, to do one of those motivation AI channels. It's a bit of a more complex workflow but when you see it get done, it's very powerful on the backside, be able to almost auto-generate tons and tons of this social media content that then you can post online. 14th here is uh, AI-generated Loom videos for lead nurturing. I'm gonna show you how you can use uh, Loom, which is another powerful tool for recording content, but then be able to use that to make customized, personalized messages for lead nurturing. And then, 15th here is how to scrape any websites using no code. There's a lot of no code solutions for scraping websites. It's really popular, especially in the real estate space or other types of channels for being able to harvest data and then take that data using make.com to take some sort of action online, whether it's finding the right listings and messaging it to people or anything else that you might want to do with that. This is the 15 videos we're gonna have. I might mix them up or change them in order a little bit, but feel free to comment down below what kind of videos you wanna see, what automations or AI agents do you wanna see that would actually help you grow your business. And with that being said, I will see you in the AI agent challenge for the next 30 days. Take care, bye now.